today I'm going to show you how to recode a cluster BMW E36 via NCS Expert. I'm going to go through the steps, which adapter you need, which connector, which program. Why am I doing this? I have a spare cluster, which I got for free, this one. And this one I want to potentially use for my other E36 323Ti. And for this purpose, I'm going to temporarily connect the cluster in my E36 316 Touring so that I can access the cluster via NCS Expert, read out the coding data and check what I need to recode to make it work for my compact, meaning if it's a four cylinder, a six cylinder or the injection pulse width for which type of six cylinder, this all needs to be recoded. If you want to switch a new or put a new cluster in your car, you need to check those. Otherwise the values will be wrong with the MPG gauge, for example, or the rev. Okay, this one you can already see it is a six cylinder or maybe a 318 IS cluster because the red line goes to 6,000. Uh, 500, 400, the four cylinder versions, the red line starts at six, but still, I don't know what's inside here. So I'm gonna take this one out real quick, just two screws and unconnect it and connect this one temporarily and then see what we can find. I finally got the instrument cluster out. I am out of pain in the butt to do it with the steering wheel. I didn't want to take the steering wheel off. I could, but it's just with the airbag and then disconnecting the battery. I mean, you really need some small fingers and to pull it forward and then it has to slide out on this side very tight indeed so now i can temporarily connect the other cluster this one here and then access it okay me fighting with it to get this cluster in here it's just a pain in the ass it's probably just really easier just to remove the steering wheel it's yeah i mean it just took me like half an hour i think but oh well, let's see if this thing does anything when I turn on the ignition. Okay, we see a mile. Oh wow, huh. this one has almost 400,000 kilometers on it. Wow. Okay, but that's not really care about. However, also a pixel error yeah, on the last digit there. There's a pixel error. Let's see what I ignition on, what it does. Okay, oil works, temp works. So basically, there's like no, the bulbs are all down here, not working. The one for the parking brake, brake, ABS, nothing. The bulbs are probably just, anyhow, fuel gauge works. So I'm gonna try to connect now my laptop to the cluster and see what data we read out of it from what car it is. So let's do that. I have my dongle connected via the 20 pin diagnostic port. And here I have a Bluetooth dongle. This is ABS compatible and you connect via Bluetooth to your notebook. And this dongle, you have access to the modules via INPA, NCS Expert. Also, there's another app, Deep OBD, which you use from your mobile phone, access to all the functions, coding capabilities on many BMW models, also newer ones. The reason why I got this is, this one supports the ADS protocol, where you can access all the modules in the E36 series where ADS protocol is required. And for this normally you would need a true serial interface from a very old notebook, like you have with a true serial input cable. Now these, most people don't have those anymore. And that's why I got this, so I can access all the modules easily on my E36. This I used quite a couple of times already, very handy. You don't have to connect anything else. Connect it, hit the button, and then you have to connect it lip config tool this tool you have to download it and then you have access okay to the module via bluetooth or wi-fi which would be this one select and then you basically say connect and it should connect to your dongle okay this sometimes requires a couple of tries i don't know why until it successfully connects okay now we are connected to the dongle obd2 via the configuration tool you can see it here also and then basically what you need to do now is just minimize it close it and go let's say first of all let's just go into inpa do a general check if we're connected which it should show yep ignition is on batteries on the black dots are on it's running 
and now we can go to E46, which is F4. Make a check if we can connect to the cluster. You go to body, instrument cluster, this one. Now, I'm not sure if you can also do it via the USB cable to the instrument cluster. Maybe it's possible, but I have this uh, Bluetooth dongle anyway. So we're doing it that way. Double click, and now it's reading. Reading, okay, there's an error message about the language. Ignore that, okay. Basically, we're in. You can see here, this is a 1998 cluster, week 44. Let's see the information first, F1. It's a cluster with coding plug. It's a version 263, basic data. Information, more or less, to ident, which is two. It was built, hardware serial number, so forth. The coding data, F3. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the interesting part, what you want to see when you need to check for what engine this cluster is configured. What we have, we have, ah, here, here it is. So it's basically already configured for a six cylinder, like I mentioned before, that's what I thought already. What type, what speed, the attack, what limit, the pitch characteristics of the injection. This is gonna be interesting later when you want to recode it in NCS Expert. What type of uh, six cylinder you have, either the B20, B25 or B28 have different pitch injection characteristics because uh, the B28 has other injectors than B25, B20, so you need to configure this in NCS Expert, otherwise your fuel economy gauge will not work or show correct figures. Okay, this is basically, I just wanted to check if we can connect to INPA, which we can, and now I'm gonna go into NCS Expert and read the coding data out of this cluster. So once you start NCS Expert, you need to load the profile, which I did already. Expert mode is two. Yeah, create a profile if you don't have it. And then you hit F1 and then select F3, which model you want to read the data from. We want to go to the KMB, which is combi instrument, which is cluster. So the car has been identified now via NCS expert. You now is read the data from cluster. So you have to go to F4 and process ECU. And then you can choose KMB here. And then now you have to watch out that the job here is Codian, which means if you now execute job, it would code, but you, don't, you just want to read. So you have to change the job F2 and go to Codia Daten Lesen, which means read the coding data. Okay, so it's reading. And then you have to click F3, execute job. All right, so it has been ended. And now we can look at the file and open with uh, NCS dummy to see the actual coding data parameters. Actually, I just went into the folder where the coding data was saved and the file you want to be looking at, look at the coding data is the fsw underscore psw dot trc trace. Now you can open this in NCS dummy, but you can just open it also in any editor by double click. And then you see more or less the coding data that's in here. Um, and here you can see, this is what I was saying about the injection pulse width, injector rate, this. Okay, so this cluster is set up for B20, B25 here. And if you would connect it or put it into a car with the B28, the scaling of the economy gauge would be wrong. Other than that, what else do we have? Schwindigkeit, I mean, not, not much else really to do here. Okay, that's the other thing is if you want to recode four cylinder to six cylinder, you need to change the RPM but this is it's easier actually when you have NCS dummy which will show you the parameters easier and you can select what you want to change other than going into the editor and doing it manually so I'm gonna try if I can find uh, NCS dummy Where is it now Let me close this okay I opened NCS dummy now and now I have to find the actual KMB version. I remember what, what we had here. It's C27, E36 C27. So here you have to select the module C2 KMB C27, which would be this one. And then it will show you what you can actually adjust. Um, I need to open, of course, the trace file, which I said before. Um, this was the latest one. Open that. All right. And then you basically have a select or unselect some parameters that you want to change. This one is the important one, the fuel injection, injection characteristic curve. Right now, like I said, set up for B20, B25. However, you would have to, if you want to recode it for another version engine, you'd have to select a different parameter for that engine here. You can do, then of course, uh, select a max rev limit here. Then what else can you do? Uh, you can do something with the service interval. I'm not interested in that. You can tank gas, can linear. This is something gas tank characteristic. You can have some various warning chimes coded if you have a onboard computer and then various things you can do. Really not that much interest of interest to us. Basically when you want to recode like from a four to a six cylinder 
you're looking important is to look at this parameter which you have to configure actually this is important for the economy gauge and the more importantly the you want to look at the impulse value so since i want to use this cluster potentially in my compact i'm going to change this setting here that's the only one I need to change really is the pitch, fuel injection pitch and select B28 because I have B28 injectors installed on my B25. So I selected this. That's the only change really I need to make. Everything else can stay. And now you can basically, uh, this is actually the impulse here where I was talking about before where you can change it with the four to six cylinder. So six cylinder three, we leave it. And now you can export this file from NCS dummy to be able to use it for coding in NCS expert. I'll show you that. So I've exported the file, the MAN file, which should show up in your work folder as MAN, as the manipulated file. And this one we need to code now to the cluster. For this, I'm back in uh, NCS Expert and gonna go to change job here, F2, and then go to SG Codian, which means to code the cluster with the changed value that I did for the B28 injector pulse width. So, and to do this, you hit execute job and now it's coding. It's an coding active here, shows now E1. And then it says coding ended, it means it's finished. And see here, it's back to the normal kilometer value it shows. And now I'm gonna reconfirm that it's now coded for B28 by reading the coding data again out of it, which means I'm gonna go here again to change job and go to Codia Daten Lesen, okay. Execute job again, F3, end it, all right. Now I'm gonna open up, go into NCS dummy again. Once again, choose the module, C27, open the trace file. This one's the one from one minute ago. It should have the change configuration, meaning set to B28, which it does. So we've successfully coded this cluster for a M52 B28, meaning now the economy gauge will show the correct value. Other than that, we're done here. I can take it out again. The whole point was to code it so I can use it for my other car. This job is done. Just to reconfirm it also via input that we changed the data, the injector, the pitch injection. Now here it says 4.85, which is a different value than it was before. Uh, just confirm it that this now is set up for AB28.